my name is Anish Kulkarni and today I'll be performing the test for 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th uh, cranial nerves. 9th is the glossopharyngeal nerve, 10th is the vagus nerve, 11th uh, is the spinal accessory nerve and 12th is the hypoglossal nerve. So I'll be performing the 9th, 10th and 11th cranial part uh, test at the same time. So for those, first uh, you need to ask the patient if he has nasal, uh, nasal regurgitation. So contents history Okay, so this uh, this means ki, uh, he doesn't have a soft palate paralysis. The next question you'll ask him is uh, just to talk to him. Uh, intro do aapka. My name is Vedan Patil. I'm in HBT Medical College in first year my MBBS. <coughs> See, as you can see, there's no uh, nasal speech uh, seen. So uh, the patient does not have palatopharyngeal muscle palsy. Then next we'll do is uh, ask him to open his mouth. Aap uh, uh, mouth open kiji, tongue depress kiji. Light flash sicker ke dekhega. The first thing you'll see is the uvula is centrally placed. Uh, that, that means uh, the patient does not have vagal paralysis. If he, if he does, then the uh, uvula will shift to the side which is uh, not paralyzed. Okay, the next thing you'll see is uh, you will tell the patient to say ah, 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 uh, So uvula will move backwards in the medial plane, uh, which t uh, checks the gag reflex of the uh, ninth uh, cranial nerve, which is the glossopharyngeal nerve. The last test you'll do for the 9th, 10th and 11th uh, cranial part of the 11th nerve is tell the patient to swallow to check the laryngeal muscles. So swallow kar. As you can see, you can see the laryngeal muscles moving. Now we'll do two tests for the spinal part of the 11th cranial nerve, that is the spinal accessory nerve. First, we'll check the trapezius muscle. So we'll ask the patient to shrug. Uh, and now we'll provide the passive resistance to check the strength of the muscle. Then we'll check uh, the sternocleidomastoid muscle. We'll tell the patient to uh, up, up passive resistance, uh, apply the passive resistance and tell the patient to look that way. Now you can clearly see the prominent sternocleidomastoid muscles uh, with its anterior border and posterior border. It is attached to the uh, mastoid process above and to the sternum and to the clavicle below. Another test for the sternocleidomastoid muscle could be this. Uh, so, आप अपना जो forehead है वो आप आके लेके जाएंगे और मैं आपको resistance provide करूँगा यहाँ से so you can see the both sternocleidomastoid muscles prominently here three tests for the twelfth cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve hypoglossal nerve the, has the motor supply for the whole of the tongue so first test is this आप अपनी tongue बाहर निकालिए as you can see, the tongue is centrally placed. Uh, if uh, any of the side of the muscles uh, have been paralyzed, then the tongue will shift to the opposite side. Okay. The next test uh, will be: आप अपना मुंह खोलिए और अपनी tongue की sideways movement कीजिए. This is the second test, and the third and the last test will be: मेरा हाँ अब मैं जहाँ पे अपनी उंगली रखूँगा वहाँ पे अपने tongue से आपको touch करने आने से. So these three tests will check the muscular uh, uh, movements of the tongue which is applied by the hypoglossal muscle uh, nerve. No.